Hey everyone, how you doing today? Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and I am glad you stopped by. Now today I'm at Legacy Housing's Fall Home Show and we are checking out all of their floor plans on display. And today we're gonna check out their most popular model. So let's get going. I'm gonna tell you all about this three bed, two bath. That's right, everybody. We are checking out Legacy Housing's most popular floor plan and that is a single wide. This right here is known as the Select S-1664-32C. Now this home is a three bed, two bath, and it sits at 942 square feet. The dimensions of this home, 64 feet by 16 feet, and I'm loving the 412 pitch roof and the vertical siding on this home. Now this is an affordable single wide that should go about the mid $80,000 range to early $90,000 range, which isn't too bad. Let's get in there, check it out, and let's take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, let's see what this interior has for us today, everyone. Walking in, what I'm seeing is seven and a half foot sidewalls. We've got board and batten. Um, it does kind of vault a little bit to center there. Um, decent color on the walls, that classic brown right there. The size of this living room, everyone, is 13 feet, 3 inches by 15 feet. And hey, before we really get going, do us a favor. Do me a favor. Leave a like on this video. It always helps out the channel, helps this video get out to more people. And I would always like to see that. Also, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So then that way you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted, you'll be able to see these as soon as I release them. Now, walking into the kitchen area, you see they kind of have a table there. That's what they're gonna call a dining space, but really it's just kind of an open area right there. So um, you can have a table right there. You can kind of put it towards the wall. You do have a little bit of room and a little bit of play there. So especially since you don't have an island, you know, in this kitchen. So spinning around into the kitchen, we got some real wood cabinets looking really nice. We have a nice open shelf right there. We have the double sink right there, standard with a gooseneck uh, faucet. A great color scheme for your um, for your countertop and backsplash right there, and a decent amount of storage. This home, as you see, is set up for the black appliance package. Um, you've got a microwave range hood, which is awesome. And like I said, all the naughty little wood look here is really nice. Taking a look inside, some decent construction as well. It's nice. Looking around, like this home is set up for electrical, as you know. When you go into that ordering process, when you order your home, you can always change that to um, gas and other things. So, you know, speaking of which, if you want to know more about this home, uh, the options, the features, everything that goes along with it, there's a link in the description below. Click on that. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see a 3D tour, check out some photos, and maybe even some more video. But most importantly, get that pricing directly from a retailer near you and go visit this home in person. So click on that and learn all about it. Now let's make our way towards the uh, guest area and see what we have. Now, one thing that I'll have to say for this 942 square feet is it feels rather spacious. Like when I walked in, I didn't think it was a 16 wide. It kind of felt more like an 18 wide, but they're doing pretty good on that, you know, that, 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 that illusion of space, I guess you could say. So walking into uh, this first uh, guest room, this is the smallest guest room um, in the home. And this is seven feet, seven inches by 10 feet, three inches. As you see, we have an open closet right here uh, with the wire shelf right there built in. And now coming back out here, we're gonna take a peek at this guest bath right here. And the guest bath, not too shabby. We've got the same type of color motif for your countertop and your drawers and cupboards. We've got a nice sink in there, single vanity, a medicine cabinet or storage cabinet if you like. And then right here we have a uh, 60 by 30 shower tub combo. This is a multi-piece right here, just to let you know. Right next to that, you have your built-in uh, towel rack, which is nice. And then there is the toilet situated right next to it. A nice elongated toilet. And everything's there. Your toilet paper holder, everything's set. You have a drawer bank of three right there. Not too bad. Nice lighting up top too, I'd have to say. See, a little bit of storage. Not 
too bad. Now, like I said, you know, the size of this home, you know, 940, 942 square feet, they fit three bedrooms in here, and they're not too bad of size. Like, that last one was kind of small, but this one right here, this one is 10 feet 4 inches by 10 feet 3 inches. So it's a nice big size square room here, and again, they have an open closet um, right over there into the corner. Um, the air and heating in this home, all the vents are on the floor, of course, just to let you know that. And plenty of power plugs everywhere. This home has a 200 amp uh, service, so it can power the entire home without any issues. So that's always a great thing. But what do you guys think about this home so far? You know, share those thoughts with me in the, uh, the comments below. And then right here, right before you get into the primary, you have your space for your um, washer and dryer hookups, decent size uh, right there for your side by side. You have a wire shelf above, which is cool. And now we have walked ourselves into the primary and the primary is a decent size as well. This one is 10 feet, nine inches by 12 feet, eight inches. Um, and it has a, a dual door closet right there. We're gonna take a look at it in a minute. Decent windows within the home. I personally would kind of like a few more windows because you know, I like all of that natural light and everything else. So, you know, let's take a look at this side real quick. Now, right here, right to my right hand side, the reason I'm moving all this is to show you this is where the water access is for your heater. So that's where that is. You do have a shelf up top if you want to use that for storage, but I wouldn't uh, suggest that. Now let's check out the uh, primary bath. And we have uh, the same uh, shower tub wraparound combo right here. Looks to be a few pieces, 30 by 60, a nice little shower head right there. And there is your toilet situated next to it. Almost a facsimile of the other room, but it's decently spacious. It's got a little more room than the uh, than the other bath. Again, we have a little bit of a medicine cabinet there, if you will. And we have a drawer banks down here. Decent. This is not a bad home for it being an affordable home. Um, what do you guys think about it? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. And um, there you go. This one is in the books. We are going to move on to the next home, wherever that home tour will be but we did a lot here. So you're going to see a lot of legacy homes pretty soon and some more. But thank you everyone for joining me. I truly appreciate your support. Live smarter, choose manufactured, travel easy, and I'll see you on the next home tour.